play please lord jada i love you gi jane too can't wait to see it all right That was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Nick. <laughs> wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name. I'm going to, okay? The Oscars 2022 <laughs> and the okay. slap heard all across heard all across the world. Next up on Just the Talk. So we're gonna talk about it. Let's go. And welcome, welcome, welcome to the Flicks Picks and the Nit Picks. And I am your humble host, No 718. And we're gonna keep this one real light. We're gonna keep it light for your Monday night because I am quite busy on other formats. But um this topic has come up a lot about Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. And if you all know what happened last week, um with Will Smith uh feeling the need to come up there and slap Chris Rock. And like I've said on said before to other people, seven I mean on different platforms. If you really believe that slap was about Chris Rock and a G.I. Jane joke, you are out your fucking mind. That was something very personal, and it was a buildup of over the years of everyone having something to say about Will Smith, his relationship, you know, his kids being kind of like on some different path <laughs> and all types of other stuff with him being put under... The microscope and under scrutiny for how he raises his kids and his own personal and intimate relationship with his wife. Then the fact that Tupac is involved, then we could take ourselves to all different types of avenues with it. And plus, the sad part is, is y'all think this is something recent around Jada Pinkett? No, no. If you're not familiar with hip hop, I am. Live it, breathe it. It's me. This has been an issue that Will Smith has been dealing with for quite some time since he's crossed over into Hollywood and gangster rap became pretty much dominant. Hardcore rap became dominant. He has been seen as a dinosaur of yesteryears and a cornball and all of that. Not hood enough, not real enough. And at some point, not hip hop, as weird as that may seem. So the buildup of all of that from before was one thing, but he sound, found so much success in Hollywood that it far overshadowed his mission and what he was doing with it as a avatar, if you will, of a certain segment of society that's always seen at the bottom. There's a lot of sacrifices you have to take in the public to maintain a certain image of your people and of your nation. That being said, when you also are of the hood and the nation of hip hop, if you will, um, there's a lot of scrutiny that could come with it by being a Will Smith. And then it could cross into a lot of different other debates that to be quite honest, really just illustrate that there's a lot of things been coming at Will Smith from so many different angles over the years to say that he's not aware of it because he makes all this money, etc., etc. And I know that's what a lot of YouTubers like to always throw it away at, at the money. But sometimes, man, your sanity is more than, it, 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 there's no price for your sanity. You're gonna hear that every day for some, at some point it, it, it'll blow up. And when I heard about it, I was watching another YouTuber talking about it and star from the star report yo go out and check it if you went to hip-hop but this is a movie channel but i was watching it and it, they were talking about it i'm thinking it's a joke so i figured let me go check it out see what people talk about maybe you know i'm seeing it and i'm thinking it was surreal because it almost looked fugazi it looked fake it looked like it was fake i could have bought that it was staged i think a lot of people thought it was staged my, my baby lupita was back there like 
when on to Will Smith started when Will Smith started cursing even she was like, Is this a joke? And then he said it again. Keep my wife's name out your your mother F in my and then she was like, Oh, this is real. And I think her expression was the whole world at that moment. It went from like a, a vast array of what? Is this real? Is this a joke? You wanna laugh at it? And it's like this gotta be a bit and it's like, Oh, I think it's real. <laughs> oh hair? Like this? And then we're off to the races. Look, man. I'm a big Will, fan, Will Smith fan. Fan of his films for a long time. Independence Day was my favorite movie. To be honest, Independence Day might have actually had a lot to do with a lot of the things that I wanted to do with the trajectory of my life. As weird as that may sound. Not trying to give it give you all this ammo to say like I know more about Will Smith than anybody else no just to let you know that this is nothing personal you know I'm a fan of his work you know um not my top hit not dude that dude I'm not gonna lie but at the same time I like his music like I really like his music you know I really love his music and I think he's definitely a flagship of hip hop and represents it even in Hollywood. So for this to for him to have probably one of the most hip hop of moments that people wish he hip hop ridiculed him for not being bout, it kind of sacrifices movie career for in a lot of ways. Especially where he was going. We're gonna talk a lot about where he's going because a lot's gone on in a week and we're gonna really tip tiptoe through this one because I think this is going to open up a lot of conversation worthy of debate and discussion but mostly in part in part because I want to pull out of it and extract of it the movie aspect of it the movie politics the thing about film and being an artist you know the side of the discussion that people keep forgetting and want to get into the salaciousness of it and i got time oh we got time we're gonna go into a lot of stuff because i paid attention to a lot what's going on on youtube what people been saying about it and i'm not here to be the thought police say you shouldn't say this or say that nay nay in a lot of environments i'm telling people that this is going to really t show you who people really are All the arguments and angst that a lot of people are expressing upon Will Smith for his action flies directly in the face of the shit that they be talking about. I shit you not. I just want to keep it real with you. There's a lot of people that's not dealing with this the way it needed to be dealt with in terms of how we discuss it. This is about, again, like I tell people ad nausea about relationships between a man and a woman, professionalism, business, how all of those things intersect. And when it comes to the hood part of it, before we even touch on anything that's racial, it really goes into hip hop. What's, how are we gonna represent? Is, do we have to sacrifice a certain part of what makes us, how we exhibit our outfitness? Is it appropriate for that world? The environments that we cross into. Things of that nature. These are the going to be the conversations that should have been talked about. You know what I'm saying? Like, because in our culture, that ain't about, well, I ain't gonna fight a slap is probably one of the worst things that if some, something could happen really behind some shit like that. That's real personal. All men understand that. Slap is something real. But the physical aggression of it, the fact of even doing it, you know what I'm saying? And how we take it when it happens. Like everything happened and carried on, but like the layover, the the the, the big boo ha ha about it. You know what I'm saying? That's the part that's what we have to deal with in hip hop because the street culture is a big element of it. With the Oscars, they don't understand it. So for this to been out of all the years. But this has been something that they had actually had to experience. So when you had to bring it up, out um, brought it up to me, said out of a hundred years, this is the first one that went by. Me. I think it was T. And for some reason, out of all the the ways we could address this. 
situation. It's went into so many different arrogance that movie pundits are trying to really land blast it. This is, and don't get me wrong, this is, hey, this is a gift that keeps on giving. This is gonna be easy algorithm fodder. Make no question. So we're gonna make a lot of business and do a lot of, do a lot of numbers just discussing. But are we really having the real conversation about what this is really about? Relationships. But as it pertains to film, business, business relationships. And for those that come from a different type of background where if someone's disrespectful, this is not too uncommon. A scenario that things could get physical way before anyone wants to dial 911. This is going to open up a smorgasbord border conversations of time and place. Understanding that when cameras are on, there's a way that we need to conduct ourselves at, as men. Even if your male aggression is to go to the next level, there, there should be a way in which we do this. There should be, yo, let me escort you outside. I think me and you need to have a one-on. Or me and, you, me and you need to have a real conversation out back. There's, there's another there's another way in which we could have handled this while still maintaining our manhood and our respect. But in a split moment, second, we'll decide it. Nah, enough's enough. And that's another topic. When is enough enough? And as a man, you may have to risk it all. And it's worth risking it all to let motherfuckers know I'm not one to be fucked with. There comes a time in life where you're going to have to go up the block and go get your ball back. This ain't no bullshit. This is real life. There's a time and a place for everything. And yes, there's a time and a place to get hands and feet put upon your body. But there's, and, and, and part of it is the sacrifice of it all. You have to accept everything that comes with it. And the will is going to get it ten times full because no one's seen it coming from him of all people. And people love to see an act of fall from grace. And it seems like all our good brothers out there, you know what I mean, will get the worst end of the media spectacle and the harshest they'll they'll we'll set that's when we decide to set an example. Because Ezra Miller then he just yoke out somebody, then he just call just say something about murdering somebody. I mean we I mean allegedly like let's be for real. But a slap at the Oscars, man, he gonna lose everything. And I'll be fair because Ezra Miller is not the same type of actor Will is. He doesn't have his resume at all nor his cachet. So, of course, he wouldn't be selected as a topic of conversation. But this is going to now open up a lot of floodgates because if you bout what you say you are and you're going to make a big scene about it, then now people are going to have to deal with, exist, uh, the, with the legitimacy of their claims based on consistency. I've seen it in the fandom. Everybody saying, oh, Will Smith doing this, that, that, and the third. He should never, he should get the book thrown at him. Everything should happen to him because he took it way further than it needed to go and yada, yada, yada. And I asked my, 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 my YouTubers, my, my people, my movie people out here. All you motherfuckers out here can't take Kennedy, Kathleen Kennedy name out your mouth. She's never said anything to the fans personally. She made movies that you didn't like. That's where it begins. Forget her social commentary and what she... You didn't like it. And every day, the call for her to lose her job off of a movie you didn't like. But yet the numbers are there. And some of the... Uh, like the way you would talk about her, you would have thought that she's on out here in these streets really cursing people out. You would think it was that bad. The way in which movie fandom went about handling that. Handling their discourse with 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 management. 
Brie Lawson, a comment. You, a comment made people drop so many videos harassing her. I'm sure she got a few ads. Hey, you know, how many? How many stars had to drop their Twitter because they kept get added? Let's do it. Can we talk? This is fandom. Might not be you in particular listening. May not be your YouTuber in particular you listen to. But this is in the fandom. This is poor for the course in the fandom. So how dare you look at Will Smith and say, oh, he took it too far. When is far enough? Oh, because it got physical? Okay, fine. A slap. He Now you motherfuckers like, well, what if? He could have tipped over and hit his head and now death. Will Smith slaps someone, smacks someone, and sits down. And everybody talk about what could have happened, what have, could have, should have. All to the point that he could have tipped over and died. This is how extra you guys are. You run with it. Just like he was extra and ran with it to run up on the stage and slap Chris Rock. Just like you guys take it too far and overly do it with actors and people in the movie fandom that you do not like what they do, but that was their job. Even you anti Snyder Snyder people, Snyder fans. Cause that's that that, 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 that is a thing. Even you anti Snyder fans of the first ones that wanna go at people because they believe a movie is coming out that you think that won't. So videos and videos and videos about that. You take it that far. So what if they over here, they believe in this movie, they're doing their own thing. And even for Sonata fans, y'all sometimes go out your way to harass other people. You know, it goes both ways. You guys are gonna really find yourselves in a situation where the energy just ain't the same. That was personal at least. With Will, that motivated to do do what he did. What was personal about BVS not being your Batman or your Superman? That you need to be this ugly to people about a movie you didn't like, but a comic book you probably haven't read in years. You know there were several different renditions of. A fan goes out there to make a movie that other fans feel like they don't like, and this is what they have to get. Hey. If I don't like what someone does, I'm not gonna make it personal. What I'll do is try to make something even better. Or I'll call it out, like, oh, why they gotta play these characters? I'd rather, but I'm not gonna come at the director and really start getting, making it personal. A lot of people want to. Why? Cause you wanna ratchet it up for the sake of entertainment and laughs. I get it. Every Some people wanna be the Howard Stern of, of, of movie talk. I get it. I just hate when motherfuckers just don't want to accept the energy that comes with it. Or they act like, or, or, or now that you, with high, when, the, when the attitude of being I don't care and being the Howard Stern doesn't work, now we want to be victim by the actions and energy that that personality had boomerang back to us. It's like, no, you got to keep the energy all the way through and through. Otherwise, that's what sets makes you funny style of other people. Because you're shifting goalposts when it suits your end. And then you could argue, I guess, the all the other thing. Because everybody was a grift. Everybody calls everything grifted so far. We could take it down that level too. But the bottom line is, is that this Will Smith thing is like a gift and a curse for a lot of you YouTubers. Or watch, it's going to come. But this is going to make people see themselves for who they are. And this extends itself outside of movie fandom. Because I'm listening to a lot of commentary on it. And some of this, what Will Smith does, you've done in your own life. And you've given your allowances for it. And even in very broad, very broad strokes about taking things to a new level. Was it uncalled for? Yes, sir. Was it oppression? Uh, unprofessional yes sir but I understand and I get it but we're gonna get into that a little bit deeper I just want to let you know that I'm very well aware 
been paying attention to what's going on. But leave it in the comments below how you feel about what everything that I talked about. And prep yourself for the ride because I'm about to really lay in on my perspective about how movie fandom is taking it on just a talk. And also, really, you know how this all centers. It still centers around the movies. And we're going to continue to talk about movies, movie fandoms, geek shit, fun shit, all that stuff. Leave it in the comments below. Let's converse. Bring your best arguments. And, um, yeah, and if I hear some arguments that actually make some real sense, I'm going to make a video about it in response. And really, maybe even one day, hey, I got time. Maybe one day I could get on a line with one of, uh, with someone we could have a longer conversation actually on my channel as opposed to me going on other panels. But I have open to have this discussion on all panels. So, again, like, share, subscribe. See you next time. And as always, tell I have a better outro. Chill.